Hey guys, President Bola Metinubu received brutal shock. Accused of leading Nigerians to their graves. See what was announced that raises concerns. In an exclusive interview with Daily Trust, the former Jigawa state governor, Sule Elamedo, expressed deep apprehension about the trajectory of President Bola Tinubu's leadership, accenting that Tinubu is steering Nigeria towards a perilous future. Lamedo urged that Tinubu's policies have exacerbated the country's social economic challenges, painting a bleak picture of the nation's prospects. Lamido, a former foreign affairs minister and a member of the People's Democratic Party PDP, emphasized his concerns, stating Tinubu came and said he will continue from where Buhari stopped. So the next destination is our grief. Because the journey has started with a trailer load of poverty, hunger, insecurity, hate, frustration, pain, agony, and this destination is the, is the grave. The former governor questioned Tinubu's commitment, uh, com commitment to addressing pressing issues, challenging the notion that continuing from President Muhammad Buhari's leadership is the solution. Lamido raised critical questions about the direction Tinubu has taken, asking when he said he will continue from when Buhari stopped. What has he done? When you say you want to continue from where Buhari stopped, where do you start from? From insecurity? Is it from poverty or hunger? Tinubu said he will continue from where Buhari stopped, so there is no destination. Lamido extended his criticism to the recent extravagant purchases of luxurious, luxurious, luxurious cars by National Assembly members, questioning whether such actions aligned with the desire of the Nigerian people. He emphasized the need of a debate on the uh, ethics of the Western type of democracy in Nigeria and its apparent shortcomings. He remarked, fine, are they reflecting the people's wishes? If they are not, then how will they have elected? How will they ignore the Nigerian environment in terms of our standing and status? To do that kind of appropriation for the president, that is why there is a need for this kind of debate. Is a Western type of democracy working in Nigeria or not? Why is it not working? Lamido also drew attention to political development in Africa, referencing the motorcade of President of Kenya, expressing uncertainty about the authenticity of a TikTok clip disputing the, the lavish possession. He highlighted the need for a broader discussion on democracy in Africa content. As concern grew over the direction of President Tinubu's leadership, Lamido's critic raises pertinent questions about the effectiveness of current governance structures in Nigeria. The former governor's call for a debate on democracy reflects a broader sentiment regarding the need for a revolution of political parties to better serve the interests of the Nigerian people. So guys, what's your take on this? A former Jigawa state governor, Sule Lamedo, has noted that President Bola Tinubu will soon lead Nigeria to total destruction, considering how his policies have worsened social economic problems in the country. The former governor mentioned this in an extensive interview with Daily Trust, adding that Tinubu's performance so far has shown that he failed for the presidency to continue from the bad leadership structures left behind by President Muhammad Buhari. Sule Lamedo, also a former foreign affairs minister from 1999 to 2003 and a member of the People's Democratic Party, said Tinubu came and said he will continue from where Buhari stopped. So 
The next destination is our grave because the journey has started with a trailer loaded of poverty, hunger, insecurity, hate, despondency, frustration, pain, agony, and the destination is the grave. When he said he will continue from where Buhari stopped, what has it done? When you say you will, you want to continue from where Buhari stopped, where do you start from? From insecurity, is it poverty or hunger? Tenable said he will continue from where Buhari stopped, so there is no destination. The former Jigawa state governor also berated the recent purchase of luxurious cars by the National Assembly members. He continued, Fine, are they reflecting the people's wishes? If they are not, then how were they elected? How would they ignore the Nigerian environment in terms of our standing and status? to do that kind of appreciation for the president. That is why there is a need for this kind of debate. Is the Western type of democracy working in Nigeria or not? Why is it not working? Talking about democracy in Africa, I saw the motorcade of the president of Kenya. I saw 55 Jeep with 45 riders. On motorbikes following him. I saw the clip on TikTok. Maybe it was manipulated. I don't know. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you're just joining us, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.